I know I don't look my best right now. Um, I had to kind of sleep off the day today. I am currently in a hostel, as you can see, with the beds behind me. And I guess I really, truly need to make this video because, um, for my sanity, actually. And it's a topic that I don't really share with, well, people a lot. I really don't. And, um, basically, being a... This is so not easy to talk about, my god. Um, being sexually assaulted last night, it just brought back a lot of memories. A lot of flashbacks, if you will, PTSD. And I'm not going to try to make fun of the the event that happened yesterday. I'm fine physically, but emotionally I am not. Emotionally, I feel angry <laughs> and uh, PTSD didn't help, you know, because once again somebody sexually assaulted me and then I had to go home feeling his fingers his hand where he tried to sexually assault me because I, you know, shoved him out of the way kind of thing. But I could still feel his finger on my fingers on my thigh and my groin area. Like, yeah. So that phantom feeling and the forcefulness of it was not something that I could just you know, clean off, shower off, because his touch was still on my skin. I don't know why that seems to happen, happen often. <laughs> I feel like no matter where I am, no matter where I go, I am always going to have a target on my back. I am not walking around in slutty outfits. I'm not one who walks around late at night. I am not one who basically dresses up all the time. I am not one to have so many boyfriends. I am not one who sleeps around. I am not one who wears makeup all the time as well. And this face, it does not scream that I'm a Kardashian. You feel me? But yet, that is what I hear constantly that, oh, you a woman, you did something to attract these kinds of guys. Oh. You were out late, late, late last night. Listen, I'm minding my own business. I'm walking, trying to go and get something to eat because I really haven't had much food throughout the day. It's 9 p.m. Not late. Not midnight. And yet, still, I was sexually assaulted. Like... I don't think a lot of <laughs> women really talk about these kinds of things. And growing up, I didn't think that... <laughs> I thought that I was the problem. Okay? And it wasn't... This isn't the first time this has happened to me here in this country and it is supposed to be the nicest country ever it really is supposed to be the nicest place you could ever be in as a black woman as well but yet it happened to me last month 
in the middle of daytime, broad daylight. Again, minding my own business, walking. And because it's a crowded sidewalk, usually it's a crowded sidewalk in the area I'm always walking through. In the middle of all the hustle and bustle, some guy comes up behind me and tries to stick his finger. Yeah. And then he pretends like, oh, I was just, you know, I was just walking with my cell phone and I was screaming after this guy. He does not, uh, you know, English is not the first language here. Screaming at this guy. And everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people do speak English here. And I was so enraged. And I felt powerless as well. I felt very powerless because, once again, I've been taught that nothing can be done about these kinds of issues. I was minding my own business. I... You know, oh, really? I was just really minding my own business and that just happened, you know? And I didn't even add, I didn't mention the fact that the guy from last night, this old geezer, he looked like he was in his 40s, whatever. He pretty much stuck his middle finger up at me because I screamed, you can't do that. Don't do that. But I had no strength. I felt like I had no strength. Although there were people around, mostly men in that area. I just felt like there would be no one to back me up anyway. Like, again... So, this is not just an Albanian thing, because it's happened in my own country. I don't really talk about how many times I was sexually assaulted in the States. I was raped as a child, many times. And, um... There's some things that just do not leave you at all. So I think, personally for me, I do need to be an advocate for people who have gone through my experience, honestly. Because I don't feel like there's enough of us out there to tell women, to tell people the world that this is not right, that this is not normal, that my body is my body, that I am not a piece of property, and that you do not have to be literally a grown adult to be sexually assaulted. I was raped at three years old. What was sexy about what I was wearing at three years old? Some child who was just potty trained, okay? Who is learning to speak, who's learning their ABCs, learning how to draw, and yet a grown man decides in his sick, perverted way that that child is worth king with. What kind of monster does that? And so, <sighs> I'm not going to be silent about the trauma anymore and what it has done to my mental health and I I'm I'm telling you my story that's all actually that's not all there is I'm gonna write a lot I've been writing a lot not not just about you know, being sexually assaulted or, or anything like that. 
course, that's also not mentioned, that's included, but um, also that trauma about realizing how you can be manipulated, abused, emotionally, physically, as well, mentally. And there are these signs, these clues that people don't seem to acknowledge until it is too late. Anyways, I am not, again, full face makeup, take it or leave it. I wasn't even wearing makeup yesterday because I hear and I see all the time people accuse the victim of dressing a certain way. Like, are you serious? That gives people the right to touch you and hurt you? Get a clue. Anyhow, I'm going to go now because this video has been longer than I expected. Yes, I'm still shaky. <laughs> I'm still angry. I'm still frustrated. I'm still tired. You know? Because it takes a lot of your energy. It just does. And I'm sorry, there is construction outside and there there's there are two dogs outside barking. But I hope that I was clear in this this video. That's all I can say right now. Thanks for watching.